Hello, I'm John Connolly. I'm here in Waterstones Piccadilly on Halloween to talk about my new short story collection, Night Music Nocturnes Volume 2. Hello, I'm David Mitchell. I'm the author of Slade House and I am here at Waterstones Piccadilly on Halloween to do a Halloween event uh, to promote my ghost story, Slade House. It's upstairs. <laughs> It's a book that, that cherry picks characters from, from earlier in your career and uses them in an interesting way. It's not a kind of adjunct to what you've been doing. It's very tied up with the other fictions you've produced. Uh, that's true. Uh, guilty as charged. My, um, my uh, Dutch editor came up with, my best, with the best description so far for Slade House, which is, uh, if you've read The Bone Clocks, it's a dessert. If you haven't read The Bone Clocks, it's uh, an entree course. And if you... Uh, if you haven't read the Bone Clocks and never will read the Bone Clocks, then it's then it's a standalone amuse bouche. As I watch, the running boy's shape gets fuzzier and becomes a growling darkness with darker eyes, eyes that know me, and fangs that'll finish what they started. And it's pounding after me now in sickening slow motion, big as a cantering horse. And I'd scream if I could, but I, I can't. My chest's full of molten panic. It's choking me, choking. It's wolves, it's winter, it's bones, it's cartilage, skin, liver, lungs. It's hunger. It's hunger. It's hunger. And it's funny, I, I, write, I write crime fiction. I very rarely read, read crime fiction in anything but the long form. <laughs> I like crime novels. Uh, even when it comes to Conan Doyle, I don't read the short stories. I prefer the novels. It's completely the opposite when I read supernatural fiction. I, I read supernatural fiction almost exclusively in the short form. So, is it psychiatric or is it psychic? Mm. Uh, it never answers, and it's fabulous because of that. That's something you exploit in um, in the Fractured Atlas, uh, at least uh, up to the point I've got. Uh, in it, you, you don't know if uh, the World War One veteran has lost his mind or if this is happening. Mm -hmm. And, and uh... there is a school that stands by a cemetery. In winter, under cover of fading light, I walk to its windows and put my fingers to the glass. And sometimes, a boy looks back. So there was uh, this presence there at the end of my bed, looking down, and I didn't open my eyes. It was dark, it was as dark inside my eyelids as it was outside my eyelids, but I still didn't open my eyelids. Uh, and. I was very frightened in a visceral, animalistic way that I don't think I've really been frightened like that before, really. Thanks, Waterstones. Thank you to the Thank great you, Tim. David Mitchell is absolutely one of my favourite authors. I saw this advertised online, I was like, I've got to come here. I've not read all his, all of his books yet, but got free sign tonight, and hopefully by next year we'll have read all his books. It was amazing, two of my favourite writers, and it's Halloween, so what more could you ask for? Terrific event to come to, and uh, really not disappointed. Great stuff. I haven't read The Bone Clocks yet, so I'm going to read that and, I'm, and they, they're all interlinked. He just confirmed they are all interlinked and this is the dessert. So I'm looking forward to having my main and my dessert of David Mitchell.